Back to our Michigan State days. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, Brian, congratulations on your Thanks. first win as a Raider. Uh, two quick questions. Number one, the, to come in and to watch how this defense has won you the yeah. last two games, would you talk about the grittiness, the blue-collar, lunch pill approach of your defense, please? Well, I think for me, you know, obviously I didn't play the first half, but I sat there and watched them play. And, and when I knew that I was going in, I thought, OK, you know what, just, you know, complete the balls that you see out there. The defense is doing a great job. So they gave me, you know, that confidence to go out there and not try to force anything, not try to do anything outside of my abilities. And, and that at playing quarterback, when you have that, that gives you a lot of confidence. They've done, they did a great job. Josh's offense traditionally thrives in the red zone, and it's struggling a little bit. Can, is there something you can put your finger on, or is it just maybe a multiplicity of things? I mean, I could have made a better throw to Devontae down there, definitely let him touch the ball. Same thing with Jacoby. Um, but like I said, you know, knowing the, the situation, or the way our defense is playing, um, you know, I wasn't going to let them touch the ball. And, and that was the mentality I had. And unfortunately, it got a little closer at the end, but, you know, they came up big again. And it's something that, you know, we can keep building on that is complimentary football. We've been talking about that. Look, the defense is playing good. You know, don't put them on a short field. Don't put them in a bad situation. And especially coming into a game like that with the emotions that I had, obviously going against a team that, you know, I've been a part of for a lot of years. Um, it gave me the confidence to just be smart and, you know, take the throws that were there. And, you know, they, they came up big at the end. Uh, Brian, you guys found out that Jimmy wasn't going to come back in at halftime. Did that make it any easier for you to get ready to go out there, kind of having that halftime period and not having to be in the flow of the game? I mean, it gives you some chance to, you know, take some snaps with the center. I mean, I haven't taken a snap with Andre James in probably three weeks. So, you know, it gives you a little bit of that time to, all right, you know, refocus, get some snaps, get some throws. Um, you know, so obviously, you know, a little more time than having in the flow of the game. but. You know, it is what it is. That's part of the job. We've talked about this a lot of times, you know, with the media. You know, ask me, you know, what is it? Well, you always got to be ready. You never know. Brian, you've obviously been in this situation before. How, how was important was that when you got the call to go in? Yeah, I mean, look, it's it's my 15th year. I've pretty much seen all the situations, and really what it comes down to is playing football. You know, regardless of the situation, um, obviously I've, I've played in this offense for a long time, and like I said, the defense was playing great, which gave me the confidence to go out there and just be, you know, making sure that I'm making good throws, making good decisions, and uh, the offense aligned did an incredible job. I mean, you know, blocked really well, run game, pass game, and that gives you a lot of confidence too. All right, thanks. Oh, sorry. Right, just... Uh... About the log pass to Tucker, mm -hmm. the uh, log post that you hit, um, <clears throat> what did you see that made you believe you could make that play? Well, I think given, you know, yeah. what they were covered in. Yeah, I mean, having been there for the last you know seven years. I know a lot of times on third downs they want to take away your best players, and you know for us that would be Devonte and, and Jacoby, and that was something we were keyed in on. It's something that you know I've seen in practice over the years a lot of times, and so I was just waiting to see, you know, were they going to do that? You know, because you never know when it's going to come up. It's usually sometimes in the red area, sometimes in the field, and uh, you know Trey's worked his butt off. Um, I think everybody in that room has a lot of confidence in him. You see his speed, and um, that's a play that we've kind of, you know, had in our pocket for a while, and it's just a matter of the right coverage, and you know he executed it perfectly. So. So, um, you know, he's a guy that, <clears throat> you know, puts in a lot of hard work for a rookie. Same thing with Michael Mayer. Um, and those guys, you know, coming along, obviously, you know, breeds confidence in them and, and the rest of the offense. Great. You guys all set? Thanks, Thank Brian. You.